Recently, I had a subscriber ask, had I ever compared the starting weight of this material to the ending weight as it relates to coming out of that 30 gallon drum. So what you're about to see is the actual result once biochar has been made. They're cross grain or straight grain. And my preference is the cross grain because it's just a lot easier to reduce. It breaks apart a lot easier going in the barrel and then it also reduces and crushes into char a lot better on the other end. I need to leave an inch or two of headspace to account for the deformation in the top of this lid. It's lower in the center because I place a heavy weight here to help seal it while it's in the chamber. So long as I have good metal to metal contact between this lid and the rim of this barrel, I'll be able to exclude enough oxygen from the contents and pyrolysis will be able to occur. I will rig this up now so I can get a starting weight of this raw material. I took three measurements to get an average starting weight of this raw material. This raw material included the weight of the barrel and that weight was 49.7 pounds. Fairly well free burning, all of this material is lit and it's burning down to about six inch level. I'll go ahead and put the top on that point. Now this has been going for about an hour at this point and it's in full production right now. You can see all of the gas being driven out of that 30 gallon drum on the interior which is heating up the 55 gallon drum significantly. Now this unit's held up far better than I had anticipated when I originally built it. I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of about 85 batches through it at this point and even though there's a fair amount of deformation in different areas of the drum. It's still holding up quite well and hopefully I'll be able to get it to 100 batches.
I would estimate that there's somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 to 50 percent reduction in volume from raw material to the finished product. I use the figure of 25.4 pounds as an average of the finished material. All right, take it on over. Now, I want to thank this subscriber for asking this question because it definitely had piqued my interest. The reply I gave was purely just an estimate. I gave an estimate somewhere in the range of about an 80% reduction in weight. The barrel when I weighed it empty was 18.10 pounds. So that meant I needed to deduct 18.10 pounds from my starting and ending weights that I showed you earlier. I had a starting weight of 49.7 pounds and an ending weight of 25.4 pounds, but with the reduction in removing the weight of the barrel in both of those figures, I had a beginning weight of 31.6 pounds of raw material and a finishing weight of 7.3 pounds. So the end result was 76.89 reduction in weight. So we'll call it 77% reduction. And the reduction by volume was purely just an estimate on my part. I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of about 45% of reduction in volume. So from where I started here, I wound up reducing it down to about here, which was a little less than half Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.